Welcome back. 738 Republican lawmakers say they could unveil a revised health care bill as early as tomorrow. Joining them on Capitol Hill tomorrow will be a number of children and their families representing hospitals all across the country. They want Medicaid to be protected, not cut. One of those families is from our area, from Roanoke. Jalen Wise joins us live on Skype this morning, along with her mom, Crystal, there, and also dad, Tim. Good morning to you all. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Oh, Jalen, I see your sweet baby doll there. <laughs> You're eight years old. You have a, a really, I mean, you've spent your entire life dealing with a long list of health issues. I was looking at the list, uh, including like an abnormal connection between uh, your esophagus and trachea, had some intestinal issues as well. How much time have you spent in hospitals? How much time have you spent going to doctors? Oh, wow. Her entire life, uh, since the day she was born, she's been in and out of the hospital. Um, it's hard to put a time frame on that for how much time she's actually been in there. Um, but I would say about half her life, yeah. she's pretty much been in, the, in and out of the hospital. So, um, just it's been a long time, and it's I, been a struggle the entire time. So, I read that Jalen sees more than 20 specialists for all the issues, and you two both work full time, and. Yes. Uh, and to pay for that specialized care, I'm guessing, even with that money, the money that you both make, it's still nowhere close enough to pay for all the care that she needs. So, so you truly depend on Medicaid, right? Absolutely. We depend on Medicaid. And although we both work full time and we have excellent insurance, the Medicaid is a secondary insurance for us. And, you know, a lot of the specialists and a lot of the care and a lot of the therapies that Jalen gets, um, we would not, it wouldn't be possible without Medicaid. Uh, even though our, our first insurance does take care um, of that Medicaid, we would have a lot of that stuff without it. Yeah, we're seeing some of the photos of her being cared for at Children's Hospital. Jalen, just one of more than 300 or 30 million children nationwide. There's 2.5 million in our state covered by Medicare. Crystal, what is the message? Tomorrow's the big day where you're going to go in front of all the lawmakers. What message do you hope they hear? We want to make sure that the children that need the specialized care, um, that the service and benefits continue to be available. Um, it provides our family with the opportunity to both continue to work um, so that we don't also have to struggle um, worrying about the extra medical expenses right. outside of what our insurance covers at all times. So it's just we want to make sure that um, that specialized care is continues to be available and the funding for the children and for um, for the hospitals as well, um, so that we can you know make sure that Jalen has a bright future as well as all the other children um, that are struggling with um, med specialized medical issues. Yeah, you want to focus on on, on Jalen and not not having to worry about everything else. I mean, it's enough to deal with a, a little one that's going through something so difficult. Thank you all for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it and uh, are looking forward to hearing what happens tomorrow after your, your big meeting in Washington, D.C. on Capitol Hill. Thank you so much. Thank you.